on. I'm a big sock person. Oh, I, don't know, I, I love, I don't know if you can see my, <laughs> I, I love, I love socks. I'm a sock person. It's like, you know, guys, we don't have a whole lot to yeah, be yeah. like fashionable, right? Yeah. So I got to go with socks. So I was online and I was trying to buy some socks from Amazon and my card got declined. And I, I didn't understand why, because I, you know, I said hundred thousand dollars plus a year, yeah, yeah. seventy dollar order of socks was not going to break the bank. So I was just, you know, at that point in my life, I was super angry, and I would fly off the handle no matter, you know, if anything Damn. happened, I could spill water or burn my house down, and the same anger would come out. And so I, I storm out of my office and I grab my cell phone and I stomp into the lobby of our our office building and I call my bank and I, I'm like, what the hell's going on? Like, why why was my card declined? I know there's money in the bank. And I got this guy, I remember his name is Steven. Steven was my guy. I had to match zero about 50 times to get a live person. But once I finally got a live person, I got Steven on the line. I said, Steven, what's going on, dude? Like, I'm trying to make this purchase. Why are you guys doing this to me? Even there, right, being a prisoner, why are you doing this to me, right? Like not taking responsibility for anything. And he said, well, let me check your account. He does some typing and he says, uh, well, it looks like there was some potentially fraudulent activity on your account. So we shut down your card for your protection so we could look at the charges. And so now I'm like extra pissed, like, you know, who hacked my account? Who's stealing my money? Who are these idiots? What are they buying? And so again, he, he types away and he says, uh, well, Mr. Goldberg, it looks like there were four fast food transactions in one day across Orlando. And so we figured somebody had stolen your credit card and they were testing it at different locations. But it wasn't anybody that had stolen my card. I had eaten at four fast food restaurants in a single day and it took a billion dollar bank to tell me that I was an out of control fat ass yeah. and I needed to be cut off. And, wow. and that, but they, they cut me off. And so I tried so hard to find in that moment someone else to blame and, and someone else to put this on so I didn't have to take personal responsibility for it. And I couldn't. And that was my, my burning platform where I said, holy crap, this is me. Like I am the problem. And it took me a while to figure this out. But the great thing about if I'm the problem, then I'm also the solution. And so that was the day that I said, I'm going to start exhibiting real personal responsibility, real courage, real self-leadership and take control back. One critical thing highly successful people do is organize their goals and write them down. Success doesn't just happen to you, it's created by you. If you are ready to create a roadmap to greater success, you may want to listen to what I'm about to say. We have developed an online success platform that offers six critical tools for creating and implementing your success plan. If you're ready to turbocharge your personal development and success in every area of your life, it's time for you to join Team Cody Dog by visiting CodyDog.com. That's C-O-D-I-E-D-O-G.com.